Good morning everyone, welcome to Slim Chat, it's Tracy and um, <clears throat> I've long since forgotten what number it is so it could be anything, it could be a million for all night won't be that, but yeah, hi and um, starving, absolutely starving <clears throat> and I didn't sleep too well and I think that's why, you know when you don't have a lot of sleep, I think that you know for some reason because you've been awake burning more calories probably I don't know if that's the reason or not but that always seems to work for me two things make me really starving and ravenous in the mornings one is um, not sleeping very well and the other is eating too late if I've eaten you know on the old occasion when you're really hungry and you've got you know not gonna sleep if you don't eat so you grab something I'll wake up absolutely starving the next morning I don't know why that is but it's just one of those things so um probably another goose egg for breakfast i don't know we'll see i made gary overnight oats so if he has those i'll just probably have tuna let's do something different i think i need to do something different because every single night so far i've had either previously chicken and vegetables or pork and i think i'm plateauing I know what happens with my body though you know it might just be this that I lose a bit of weight and then I'll lose inches and so for a week or so I won't lose any weight and then all of a sudden I lose another chunk of weight and then I lose inches so I might just be at that shrinking losing inches stage or I need to mix up my food a bit because I'm eating the same stuff and it's um, getting a bit samey that also makes me not plateau but yeah plateau I guess stick a bit so that might be it um, but I've had to use it up and also I've probably been having too much gravy which is probably a little bit too carby um, so I could really do without having that for another for another day but there is a little bit of pork left <laughs> and chicken yes so tomorrow I'm really looking forward to not even that and there's not I guess I could try and have a look and see if there's something I could do with it you know rather than veg gravy etc because I, I used the gravy so I've not actually got any anymore so maybe I will have a little look into what I could do with it if you've got any suggestions like nice ones that is for keto friendly things I can do with some chicken and a little bit of pork then that would be cool I've got vegetables too which i don't really want to just boil i've got broccoli cauliflower and sprouts and i guess i could do sprouts and bacon that and mix that up a little bit well you know just give me some suggestions whatever you've tried in the past and you think is nice if you have any so yeah i've been sticking a little bit i've not put weight on i've not lost any i'm just plateaued but like I said, often this happens to me. No matter what diet I do, I kind of lose this chunk and then shrink down a little bit. And I know I've shrunk down because I wouldn't be able to wear this a little while ago. So I know that I have lost so we're in some snazzy gold number. And with little holes, see? So yeah, it wouldn't have gone anywhere near me a little while ago. So I know I've lost weight. It would look better if I lost a bit more around the ton. But you know, you can't see the ton win-win so yeah um my burns i burnt my fan the other day and they're really itching they're really itching so obviously i think they're going thank goodness um i'm hoping to do my tuna pasta bake that i've been making for my kids since they were little and um gary likes it now so i was going to do that as a, a slimming world friendly recipe it, it, when I used to make it for the kids obviously it wasn't slim and well friendly but you can be easily made that way it's really sunny out there I don't know if you saw the brightness just go up a notch on this side but uh, it's really sunny but pouring with rain earlier so and uh, when I got out of the bedroom I could see that there's it was lovely and sunny but the rain was lashing the window and it was raining hard last night it seems to rain we've gone back to that phase where it rains every evening but um, at least the road's dry, um, wet, <laughs> it keeps the, um, the dust at bay. If the road gets too 
dried out, then whenever a van or a lorry goes by, because we do have a few delivery vans and not just parcels, but you know, people having food delivered, that sort of thing. And the dust usually coats the house. And if you have the window open in the summer, that you even you have to keep dusting off every side because you've got the dust off the road everywhere. It's like living in the dust bowl. So, yeah, I often said, you know, if we had an outside tap, I'd sprinkle the road, keep it, keep it damp so that it didn't happen. Because last year with the, the long, dry spring and summer, honestly, it's like we lived in a brown house. Ooh, disgusting. And uh, nothing really much else to tell you because I've not lost any. And um, I need to get some shopping and I need to see if I could make my keto bread and carb-wise it would be good. Oh, that is really bright. I don't think um, go down anymore. There we go. Oh, that's a little bit better. It was kind of catching me at the corner of my eye. So yeah, I might be able to make my keto bread um, with dairy-free cheese. I did have one that was actually really good and it was made with coconut oil. Um, the only thing is got to watch carb content, these things. Got my fan on if you wonder what the noise was. I got a bit warm. Probably because I'm wearing sleeves. I don't normally wear sleeves. You know, even around the house in the winter, quite often you won't see me with sleeves. I hate sort of being... But these are t-shirty, so it's not like... This is the only sleeve that I'll, I really feel comfortable in. And I prefer them if they're three-quarter length, really. But, you know, because it's like a t-shirt and it's not the thickest, I can wear this kind of sleeve. But normally I, I'm not a sleevey. Sleevey person. I, can't, I don't normally wear pullovers and I did buy a few and I have no idea why. No idea, never wear them. It's stupid of me to have bought them because some of them still have the labels on and by the time winter comes around next, hopefully they'll be way too big. Fingers crossed. So anyway, I've got hair. I don't know where these things keep coming from. I'm gonna get off and upload this because I haven't really got anything else to tell you other than the fact that I wanna do some more recipes and videos. The uh, one that I did the other day chicken fajita pasta bake Gary loves that now so that's another good one for him it was a uh, only six sins on the slimming world less if you count the cheese as your healthy a so <clears throat> very low sin in that case and um, I wonder what that was thought my delivery had arrived but it was not every now and then our toilet makes this glug 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 noise I wondered why it does that I don't know maybe a plumber could tell me <laughs> be a plumber watching anyway i'm gonna go as i'm babbling and uh, i might do a live stream later over on crochet rocks if you want to join us and stay safe everyone take care and um onwards and downwards as i always say that's my little motto it's all in it's in all my description boxes onwards and downwards see you soon bye for now take care